Meters are longer than yards. Yards, yards are longer than meters. Meters yeah. are yeah, like longer like than yeah. yards. No. Yeah. Yards are always longer Ooh, than meter. 5K. Am I wrong? Hi everybody, welcome to Off Our Needles. I'm Tracy. I'm Jody. And today we're talking all about the metric system for knitting. In episode <laughs> six, we talked about yarn labels. Yes. What else? are on labels that we can talk about. Yeah, so we were talking about like how to care for your fiber. Yes. Now we're like, how much yarn do we have in this skein? That's what we're talking about. The weight and the length measurements. And they're important, yeah. but different because there's metric and imperial systems. Exactly. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Let's do it. <laughs> so believe it or not, most of the world use the metric system. I know. And the United States uses the Imperial, which is inches, yards, pounds, and miles. Yeah. And it's actually an older system. It is an older yeah. system, and Brits brought it to America, and so yeah. that's how they ended up here. But in, in a really weird thing, the British themselves are now metric as of 1965. So it's funny, why hasn't the U.S. gone to I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, it is a really odd thing, Yeah. but it is definitely a thing, and when we're knitting, uh, lots of the yarn, of course, is produced or the, the labels are from the U.S. So we're going to get all the information. You're going to get the imperial and the metric on everything. Yeah. yeah. And these systems measure length and weight, but Americans also use different temperature scales. Mm -hmm. Fahrenheit versus centigrade. It's so true. Yeah. We at home in Canada use Celsius. We always talk Celsius for the temperature outside. Yeah. But you and I were talking about how we measure ourselves in feet and inches when we talk about our height. I know, and our ovens. Our ovens are always, we cook in Fahrenheit. I know, it's odd. Yeah. And yet everything scientific is the metric system. Yeah, because yeah. no matter where they live, scientists always, it's a always use It's a universal their system. Metric. And I have to say, I would almost prefer myself a universal system for needle sizes and yarn and weights and lengths and stuff like right, that. Right, because too. some people say, well, this is a seven, US seven, Yes. but it's a different millimeter size. So or, there seems to be your- And it's a huge discrepancy. Yeah. Okay, so back to yarn. Okay. Industry standard for measuring yarn is weight. It's yes. always measured in grams. And yards and meters are kind of an approximate length, but the length of yarn per gram can differ a lot depending on the weight of your yarn, the thickness, and even the fiber content because wool and cotton do not weigh the same amount. Right. And also, something I found, if it was weighed in a humid climate and then it gets shipped to somewhere dry like Alberta, the weight of that skein of yarn will differ because the humidity is weight. Really? Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, so 100 grams of bulky yarn yeah. then is a whole lot shorter than 100 grams of sock yarn. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to get 100 grams of sock yarn. You're Lots of times it's somewhere around the 400 meter range. Right. And the bulky weight of, say, a wool is, you know, let, you know sometimes 60. Right. So most yarns come in skeins that are 50 or 100 grams. And a good number to remember is when we buy our favorite hand-dyed sock yarn, yeah. most of the time it comes in a 100 gram skein. That's a really typical weight yeah. of yarn, right? Yeah. And so 100 grams of sock yarn is usually enough to knit a pair of socks or a small shawl or cowl, something like that. And it's usually about 400 yards in length, depending on your fiber, but those merino nylon combos we love are usually right around that weight and Exactly. Length. So yeah. this is a sport weight, and this is a 50 gram skein. Okay. It is 200 yards. And this one is worsted weight yarn, 100 grams. So it's a thicker weight of yarn, and it's the same fiber, and you're going to get 220 yards. I think the nice thing for me about the smaller skeins of yarn sometimes is yeah. that when you're knitting larger garments and you sort of need sometimes just to tap into mm -hmm. one of the 100 gram exactly. skeins, it's sort of nice when it's broken down smaller, you don't have to buy as much. For a smaller color work project, the half skein, I always think of them a half skein when they're 50 grams. Yeah. I think that's a great thing to do. Me too. Okay, let's talk about acrylic. This is the same weight of yarn, as in worsted weight, thickness of yarn. This is 100 grams also, and there's only 201 yards. And How much was this? 220 in here. Okay. So acrylic does not weigh the same as you get with the merino combo. So it really is good. And you know what, you guys? All of this information is on the label. You don't need to remember it, but I always find it so fascinating the weights of different yarns and the, how that translates to the number of yards for yes. your project. Very different from diff fiber to fiber. Absolutely. Yeah. 
we got you covered. You don't have to remember all of this. There's a link down in the description box below to download a cheat sheet for your conversions from metric to imperial. I'm gonna need that because I can never remember <laughs> what's either. longer. So that's gonna be really handy to have. Yeah. We'd love to hear your comments. Have you guys ever screwed up meters and yards and it turned into something funny? Uh, we would love to see that comment below. And if you could give us a subscribe and a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And we will see you yeah. next time on Off Our Needles. Happy knitting.